Uh, I think the offense as a whole right now is doing pretty good. Um, I was just talking to uh, Brandon Bowen in the locker room, and he said uh, this is the year, like, this is kind of, I guess, the first year. Or Compared to the recent years, uh, the offense has been doing better earlier in fall camp. So uh, I think we're making good progress. And I'm definitely, I definitely have more chemistry with all the receivers now just from throwing uh, after all the workouts in, in the summer. So I, th I think we're doing good right now. Can you describe what that process was like? You left spring. You knew you had to do all this work on your own, more or less. Mm -hmm. How much did you have to take the initiative? How, how was that? Because you're working with generally veteran guys uh, yeah. in terms of, of taking them and being the leader. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, everyone on the team knows the quarterback has to be a leader. So uh, kind of just taking that step. And, you know, right when you come into a new place, you can't you can't kind of just come in and just act like you're a leader. You kind of have to, you know, get used to the guys and um, just kind of build relationships with them so they trust you and then you can kind of step out and become a leader. So that's that's what I did and I feel like I'm just uh, becoming more of a leader each and every day. Justin, how do you measure that, the, the chemistry component of that? Like, obviously when you're here in January and, and mm -hmm. spring, you don't know most of these guys. Yeah. When you get out there on day one of this camp, you say the chemistry's improved. Like, how was that apparent it's, to you? It's, I mean, it's crazy because like, literally, there's there might be, throughout the whole summer, there probably was five days that we didn't throw so after every lift we would come out here on the turf field and throw so um i mean the just the difference and just i know uh kind of how they'll run their routes and just kind of who can do what and um that stuff so just throwing with them just helped me a lot we saw the summer. terry mclaurin was getting interviewed when he was at training camp the other day he was talking about his body language and how yeah uh, a quarterback can sort of anticipate where he's going to go based yeah. on how his body's moving like, is that the kind of stuff you're talking about yeah you recognize those that's things? exactly that's what i'm right? talking about uh, just yeah just the different guys' body language and yeah, just, just kind of how they, how they move and stuff like that. Justin, when we talked to Coach Day about the quarterback the competition and battle, whatever, this month, mm -hmm. he kept saying that if somebody has to earn it, you hadn't earned it yet. Mm -hmm. When you hear stuff like that, do you do you agree with it? Do you understand what that means? How do you take it when he says nobody's earned that job at this point? I mean, yeah, it's just not uh, Coach Day told me before I came here. It just wasn't going to be given to me. So uh, uh, I definitely think uh, we're all trying to get that starting spot, of course. But um we're just kind of take it day by day and just just try to improve every day as a team. How does that, I guess, how does that work for your mindset when you're, you're talking about trying to be the leader, mm -hmm. you want to be the guy? I think all of us standing around you assume that you're going to be the starter. Can you allow that to be your mindset, or do you feel like this is a legitimate battle that you have to go in every day? I, I don't try to think about it as a battle. Like I'm not thinking uh, I have to do better than this guy and this guy. I'm just trying. I'm just focusing on. Uh, I guess us as a whole, us as an offense, and just trying to get better e each and every day. So, that's how much time. better do you think you are than you were at the end of spring? Uh, I was. I think I'm way better, just in terms of uh, fundamentals, throwing wise, and uh, just kind of staying in the pocket, pocket, pocket presence, all of that. I think I've improved a lot from spring. Justin, like, like today, what what do you know you got better at today? That you know you improved today. What, what mm -hmm. as you look back on it quickly? Uh, so today I was just focusing on uh, just speed of drops and usually I, I try to focus on my stride. So just really speed of drops and just that pocket presence. So how, that's what how I much you guys, on. have y'all been under center these first three days of quarterbacks? Have y'all uh, done that a lot? Yes, sir, we have. And we, what, we've what, done what, it more. What, do you like that? What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. uh, being at Georgia last year, we, we, we did a pretty good bit of it. So yeah. I'm, I'm used to it and, and I definitely uh, like that. Had you done it before you got to Georgia? Uh, no, sir. Well, why do you like being under? Why do you like being under center? It just mixes things up, uh, keeps the defense on, uh, the defense honest, and it also will prepare me for the next level. So, the word uh, is you ran a sub four four in May. That's what your high school coach said. I mean, uh, was that accurate? Yes, sir. It was grand forties out here, and I think my laser was four four three, and then the hand was like four three eight or something. Like so you going with the hand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got got to. Hand. Exactly. You know, was that a goal of yours to get under four, uh, four point four? I didn't think I was going to run that, run it that fast. My goal was to get under four four five laser, so I definitely achieved that. So happy about that. What 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 does that speed allow you to bring? That I mean, obviously we didn't see you run the ball mm -hmm. in the spring game, but what? What element of, the, of your game is that going to bring if you have the ability to break a defense down like that? I mean, that just brings uh, the that just brings the passing game out, and I feel like it'll open up our receivers and also open up JK because the I guess read options. You know, the DN has to stay with me, uh, so it'll open up JK and then the, the passing game for us. So it should be good. How important is this next week or two where you guys are all together in the hotel, mm -hmm. and for you guys, particularly as quarterbacks? None of you knew each other. You didn't know Coach Yersich a year ago. I mean, mm -hmm. to build that camaraderie and, the, and the, the chemistry you guys need to have, to have a championship team, does this really start to build that 
with, yeah, I mean, with this time coming up? Although we've been together for a short period of time, it, it feels like we've, we've been together for a long time. So uh, mm -hmm. just, just being uh, with them every day, I mean, it just feels like we, we've already been together for a while. So it's, it's definitely great to be around all those guys. Tell me, what was it like stepping into the portal? Like I asked Gunner, were there a lot of lights in there? Was it dark? <laughs> were the lights in the No, no, nah, it was just, uh, I mean, of course, um, it was a, it was pretty much just like the high school recruiting process, you know, just uh, talking to coaches and stuff like that. So it was pretty much just the high school recruiting process like, over again. I guess what I'm at, you know, I'm being facetious there, but mm -hmm. is it was it a little bit of a knot in your stomach, a little bit knowing you're going to make a big change in your life, or was it um, a more I, of a relief that you're making them? Making it's not really a relief. I like when when things happen in my life, I just go with it. I mean, I, I feel like God has a plan with me, so so everything that happens in my life, I just just go with it and, and try to make the best out of it. How strange are, are we seeing the future of college football now? Because all three, you know, chugging off mm -hmm. came here a year ago. Yeah. Are we seeing the future of college football in our in front of us here of quarterbacks moving on? Yeah, maybe so. I mean, I have, I have no idea. So we'll, we'll see what happens in the future. Justin, it seemed like it took five or six games maybe for Dwayne to really start. I don't know, coming out of the shell as a leader, feeling comfortable with the offense and all, all the responsibilities that you guys have. Mm -hmm. Did, have you had many conversations with him about the process, how long it takes, anything you could do to speed it up, or any conversations with him for a first-time starter? Not really. I mean, he, he told me that um, – well, Coach Day told me that he was kind of, you know, quiet at first, but uh, I'm just trying to take the initiative right now. I, I'm not trying to wait. I'm trying to get the offense um, – on page, like today, I think before a team period, I, we weren't having um, the best practice like we were yesterday. I think yesterday we had a really good practice, but um, we weren't as good as yesterday, so I got all the guys together and I was like, yo, we need to pick it up, blah, 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 and just all that stuff. So I'm just trying to, you know, just, just become that leader of the offense and just get all the guys together and just, uh, just kind of just lead them. Justin, how do you deal with just the pressure of being a quarterback, especially the place of Ohio State, and you're coming in and as the highest rated quarterback they've ever had, I mean, all that stuff. How do you kind of process that, not let it get to you, or embrace it? Yeah, I mean, just like you said, you, you just got to embrace it. So, um, I mean, all this all this hype and, and all that, I'm just, you just got to back it up. Um, just, just don't let everything get to your head. Stay, I, I try to stay even killed and stuff like that. And, just don't even listen to the outside people and just, just keep my head down and work. Is that the way you've Two always been or was that something you've had to learn along the way? Yeah, that's the, the, that, I think that's the way I've always been. I've never gotten, like, uh, I guess too cocky. I mean, I don't I don't really like people who, like, I don't know, just I, – I just try to not have a big head, so I just try to stay humble as possible and uh, just, just keep it moving. What's been your impression of Gunner the last couple of days? Especially? Um, first, he came here. He was kind of a quiet guy, but uh, he's, he's opened up to, to the quarterback room a lot, and uh, he's definitely been trying to get the offense down. So uh, I'm trying to teach him as much as possible and all of the new walk-ons we got. So there's just everything, uh, every question he asked me, I'll just answer it, and uh, we just try to get better with each other. Is there any adjustment to the amount last of, I guess, right like there. turnover in this, lock, in this locker room as far as the quarterback is concerned? You said what? Is there any adjustment like that you've had as far as like, getting to know guys in the quarterback room with the amount of like turnover they've had? No, I, th I think we're all, we're all cool with each other. We all we all like each other, so uh, just we just try to compete with each other each and every day just to get each other better. So that's our goal. Is it weird the amount Thank like you. since the moment you've gotten here, the amount of people who have come and gone? Like, is it no, not really. It's just the day and age we live in now. So just gotta deal with it and go. Thanks, Thank you.